This was the scene on board before takeoff. On the way to the biggest game in the club's history, the team is in good spirits. And so is the crew. I think we'll return with good results, he says. Striker Kempes joins in. Being taken by Lamia makes it all right, he says. The co-pilot was filmed saying Lamia Airline is always transporting soccer teams and we're ready to offer them the best service. But instead, just hours later, the pilot makes this distress call to air traffic control. His voice calm, he tells the operator the electrics have failed and he's run out of fuel. The operator tries to help him land. But then the pilot's final word. Seventy-one people died when the aircraft plunged into the Colombian mountainside. Brazil's O Globo newspaper reports the pilot declined two chances to refuel. This rescuer said he could hear people crying for help when he arrived at the scene. Several people at the rear part survived, he said. It was in fact six people, including three players. Relatives arrived in Colombia today to bring their loved ones home. All the players have now been identified and will return to Brazil in a military aircraft. They'll come directly to the club's home stadium for a service. The stadium that has now become a shrine. Tributes led by the few players left behind. Sally Lockwood, News at 10.